Welcome to Sticks vs. Saws. Now, sometimes uh, an idea is born out of yeah, genius. Won that, sometimes an idea is just been born out of being very tired after a 12 hour Gears stream and attempting to troll some wall bouncers. So, the idea behind this was we were going to host a free for all, all breaker maces, and the name of the lobby was Cracked Hyper Bouncing Let's Go Mexico Land epic outplays so some people were joining trying to wall bounce and we were just hammering them with sticks which at 2 a.m in the morning was a pretty damn funny idea however after that sort of died down and we played a few of the games we kind of ended up creating oh, a game mode no, I and i wanted to share it with you and i actually Man. am proposing that this should be on one of the event playlists Sticks versus Souls. I think it's fun enough to play. Now, it sounds awful, doesn't it? Breaker Mace everywhere and Chainsaws. It just sounds like it doesn't work, but it does work, <coughs> surprisingly. So, the more I played this game mode, th there was a couple things I noted. I found that casual players and regular players stuck in the lobby for a long time. I think because it's very <laughs> clear on what's going on. Your death is a chainsaw or a mace stick, and it's kind of, in a way, it's kind of slow-paced action because people are holding around little corners, people defend the little areas, and unlike, say, the talk bow Valentine's playlist where it was just explosions and noise and people would, just didn't know what was going on, I found that people really had a lot of fun in this because they understood what was going on. It was a very simple idea. You just whack people with the stick, or if you can catch them off guard with the chainsaw, you can do that. So the rules of this game mode are very simple. So if the devs are watching, or you're watching at home and you'd like to play this, just name your custom lobby Sticks vs. Saws. Now, let everybody know in the lobby, just when you pick up the meat stick, as we've been calling it, or the uh, breaker mace, you know, just swap out your shotgun. You don't use any guns under any circumstances, you know, like pistoling like that. All you're going to do is is you use the breaker mace or your chainsaw. Now you can smoke tag and you can throw a smoke, there's no flashes. But one thing we found which was really surprising was if you try to lunge with the breaker mace or charge something up, a chainsaw does in fact beat it in many situations. So it's not just as clear cut as this guy's got a breaker mace, there's nothing I can do. There is actually opportunities for you to catch people off guard and even when you're faced with a breaker mace, you can manage to get a few chainsaw kills. And I think it's been a surprisingly fun game mode and I just thought I'd share it because for me, I come from the 2006 era where sort of we made our own fun, there wasn't matchmaking settings, you know, devs weren't fixing and tweaking the game every week. You just played your own game mode like Annex with custom rules or MLG weapon swaps or, you know, you had like sniper lobbies with sort of gentleman's agreement of, oh, this guy's got his pistol out, don't shoot. And this had this sort of vibe to it. Which was surprising to me. <laughs> now, maybe I just found it really, really fun because I was really, really tired. It was super chill and it was two in the morning and I had some people on and I was having a laugh. But I think that's what games are about, right? I think that if you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. Um, and to be honest, yeah, everyone that seemed to play it had a good laugh in the lobby. And I, I thought I'd just propose that if you want to play it, the rules are very simple. Like I say, you just pick a free-for-all map and swap everything to be a breaker mace. You're allowed to smoke grenade, smoke tag. You can't shotgun, you can't melee with like a shotgun or a lancer. You can only chainsaw or kill someone with a breaker mace. That's basically the rules. Sometimes you get in these situations like this where you know if you swing, his chainsaw will actually beat you. So you're actually kind of scared of the chainsaw and getting flanked. Then they break no. out into a chainsaw one by one, <laughs> and then it allows you to get a kill. No. And it's surprisingly fun. Oh, it's it's a revving, mate. surprisingly fun experience, and um, <laughs> it's not as clear cut, like I say, as Breaker Mace wins all. You, you know, sometimes you you've channeled the big swing, and he's coming with the fast swing. Sometimes you're in a duel, and you're trying to judge the range, and you ever so slightly misjudge it. And maybe I was having a bit of fun because the lobby wasn't completely full. Maybe 14 player might be too hectic. But I think for a, an event playlist, I think this could be a fun experience. I don't know how many you've got planned or in the line. 
but I do recommend giving this a whirl in customs and and do let me know if you're uh, if you do have fun in a custom game. So again, sticks versus stones. Just name your lobby sticks. Uh, sticks versus stones. Sorry, sticks versus saws. Uh, breaker mace everywhere. Chainsaw, breaker mace. That's very very simple. I found that people stuck in the lobby for quite a long period of time. That people were enjoying it, and surprisingly, it wasn't that frustrating. <laughs> Sometimes when you're having a a King of the Hill game, and someone steams in with a breaker mace and flanks you, you get a bit annoyed. But you can see situations like this, where she's tried to channel on me, and I can just chainsaw her because she's she's in that animation. Um, or you can sneak up on people, and the chainsaw just gives you a chance to sort of get a few kills and get your own breaker mace in case everyone's camping the ammo. Uh, so, you know, what can happen is uh, if I'm not a developer, but basically I think what you should do is disable the, the, the guns from firing, if that's possible at all, or just make them shoot blanks or some candy or some effect out of the gun that does no damage and just let everybody chainsaw breaker mace and only give them a smoke grenade, no flashes. I think it's... A surprising amount of fun, and again, the reason I'm sharing it with you is because I think games are best when it's fun. You've just got you and your mates, you know, you're making him panic, you're making him roll oh, backwards, he didn't want to swing because he thought he might get chainsawed, and then you end up, you hear somebody, you're not quite sure where they are, is he going to chainsaw you, is he going to fly out with a mace? And I had a blast, honestly. Maybe it was just fun for a one-time thing. Maybe you play it once, and after you've played it once, you're, you're bored of it. But I think for an event, you know, I, I think it could be fun. Because it's it's Gears, right? To me, this is Gears of War. It's really up close and personal. It's chainsaw duels. It's whacking people with up close, gory sort of weapons. And I, I had a blast. Um, I think the Breaker Mace gets a lot of hate. But to be honest... I quite like it. I much prefer it over, say, a Lancer GL, which is like a, a rifle that shoots Predator missiles. At least the Breaker Mace gets you up close, um, and it's an interesting take on a, a close quarters weapon. Maybe it shouldn't have the extra HP or whatever you want to call it, but, you know, this video isn't about balance. I just thought it was a very fun experience, and I'd share it with you. Um, uh, what? So, yeah, sticks that, versus souls. I really enjoyed the game mode. And as always, if you want to help out or support me, there is a content goal. Uh, if you've enjoyed the month's content and the work, or you've enjoyed my 5 to 12 hour daily streams, and you want to support, then throw your boy a Twitch Prime, a like, a comment, or just tip a, a coffee. It makes my life a lot easier, and it allows me to spend as much time as I do creating content and trying to, trying to have fun on the game. I think I do a load of videos where I critique the game, and I try and sort of you know say oh this is bad this isn't good this could be better but it all comes from a place of passion and enjoyment for the game because when i see gears of war it's a completely unique game i don't see any other game like it um and that's what keeps me coming back and yeah this game mode was just born out of basically what it was born out of if you're interested in the backstory was we were talking about competitive and how the mexico tournament is coming up and people were saying how it'll be interesting to see how the pro teams play on the new patch with the new shotgun etc and i was saying well it would be hilarious if they just announced that you know if you want to compete for gears 5 for money every weapon's now a breaker mace and you're going to have to get used to it you're going to have to adapt i was saying i would pay good money to see the pros faces if they loaded into the mexico LAN event and all of the weapons were breaker maces and then we decided to have a breaker mace free for all just for a laugh and then it sort of mutated into okay well when you don't have a breaker mace there's not really that much you can do um and shotgun and lancering doesn't feel unfun, so let's try chainsaw. And then we sort of slowly figured out that, again, the chainsaw's a bit of a counter in some aspects. And I think that's what's fun about playing games, making videos, and creating content, is that you can have a silly idea, and then you can play test it, and you can play it with a group of friends, and it can turn out to be pretty fun. Now, you at home, you know... Twitter, Discord, wherever I've posted this, Reddit, you might find this to be awful, but there might be somebody out there that really enjoys it. And I think that's what it is, right? It's not about being the best MLG, Sweatlord, 
it's not about all oh, cross lancering or doing sometimes it's just about you and your boys hopping into some gears talking a bit of shit smacking each other in the face with a breaker mace having a couple chainsaw 1v1s and maybe you only play it for an hour or two but an hour or two of entertainment is pretty decent in my eyes uh you know you go to the movies you spend 10 quid for a two-hour movie that you didn't really enjoy and you come out and you think oh okay you can hop on the game pass with you with your boys for a couple dollars and you can have a couple hours fun and you know it is what it is and i think i think um I do need to make more videos where I explain that I do enjoy the game because sometimes I get a lot of people saying I'm I'm a hypocrite that occasionally I'll come out and I'll say hey lighten up play games fun and my whole channel is basically critique but it it's critique because I enjoy the game uh I don't critique games I don't enjoy if you've ever noticed that the only vid games I ever critique are like Path of Exile Gears and that's because I enjoy them and I think they can be better so yeah, you won't see me critiquing like, you know, some random racing game because I just think to myself, oh, I don't really enjoy that. I won't play it. But when I do enjoy something, I end up trying to work on it and trying to help it. That's kind of my personality. So, yeah, hopefully that was fun. Sticks versus Saws. Let me know if you play it in the comments below. Um, hopefully I'll see some lobbies hosted with it or maybe one day we'll see it in an event. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Peace.